Hey guys, uh, in this video I want to walk you through how to uh, update VMware tools on um, an ESXi host. Um, most of you know how to do it through uh, a uh, Windows uh, guest operating system, but if you have a, um, if you have a couple things that are nested inside each other, so like in this case I'm running uh, I have VMware workstation and um, I have a VM inside a workstation that uh, is running ESXi and then um, inside of my ESXi on top of my ESXi host I have some virtual machines that are running on it so um, I can't really update tools um, on my uh, on my guest uh, I need to update the tools on my host, which is ESXi. So if uh, if you notice down here, what I'll do is I will right click on here. Let me do cancel, and then I'll go back. So on the, my host here, um, if you right click and you go down to update VMware tools, if you have a Windows machine, it'll automatically mount the ISO on that Windows machine and allow you to run it but since I am in an ESXi environment and I think this is Linux this is some uh, flavor of Linux that uh, VMware is um, using so down here at the bottom uh, it says make sure that you are logged in to your guest operating system mount the virtual CD drive in the guest launch uh, terminal and then um, and then use tar to uncompress the installer and then execute VMware install.pl to install VMware tools so uh, basically this is um, telling you to enable SSH um, on this machine and to console into it and uh, do a whole bunch of stuff to in order to get uh, VMware tools up to date I tried that and that did not work so well for me so I'm gonna save you guys the heartache basically what you can do um, is you can do it all through the uh, GUI um, but you are going to need um, the uh, update package so I'm going to um, let's see here new incognito you will need to go to uh, my VMware. Is it my.vmware.com? I can't spell VMware.com. Yeah. Uh, you are going to need to have an account with VMware and you want to log in. And I need to remember what my login information is. Actually, I think I can do it this way. This is it right here. Alright. Uh, let me log in with my super secret password. Alright, so now that you're logged into VMware, um, you can search for ESXi. Now, um, let me minimize this right quick. This ESXi uh, host that I'm running is 6.7. So, in theory, um, if you find a uh, newer um, uh, version of uh, ESXi, um, you can uh, download that. Um, in order to run the updater at this time I think that um, version uh, 7 is going to be the latest here uh, what am I looking for yep yep uh, yeah so this is going to be ESXi hypervisor I want to download
perfect. Um, give me just a second here. All right. So uh, when you scroll down here, um, you're going to want to download uh, the VMware vSphere Hy Hypervisor ESXi ISO image. Um, you can run a uh, manually download it here. And uh, I will be back once this is done. All right, it's uh, just about done here. About a minute left. I do want to draw your attention that this is going to be vSphere Hypervisor 7.0. Uh, you can remember I, I was saying how I'm running 6.7, but um, by running 7.0, you will be it will update your tools for you. So uh, that's an added advantage. Of, um, of going to uh, the next version up so uh, this is just about done and so what you'll want to do if you if possible um, you want to create a snapshot um, I already took a snapshot um, and I just titled mine before upgrade but go ahead and take a snapshot uh, let it save itself uh, it's probably better to take the snap with the machine powered off I went ahead and did mine powered on but uh, might be best for you to power off your machine and then um, take the snap so once uh, once you've got that snap you go into your settings um, and then navigate to your uh, CD DVD uh, drive um, you can check it to make sure it's connected and connected at power on and you want to navigate to uh, the directory of uh, your wherever you save this uh, ISO um, that you just downloaded uh, mine is in my downloads folder it's about 350 megs so you'll select that hit OK um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and power mine off you can do it the official way and do F12 and put in your password to shut it down but for the sake of time just going to uh, shut down wait for it to get that shut down command All right, cool. So now that's shut down, um, you want to right click and you want to navigate to power and power on to firmware. Uh, this will force it to boot into the BIOS and have you select the um, CD-ROM drive here where you mounted your ISO. You're going to select that. Press enter. And hopefully it will. Uh, I think I might have clicked something that I should not have clicked on. Stand by for a second. All right, let's uh, try this again. select uh, EF, EFI VMware virtual IDE dri uh, CD-ROM drive uh, come on shut down the system Try this again. All right, I'm gonna power on to firmware. I want to select 
you have to click inside of it. Select C uh, virtual CD-ROM drive. Press Enter. Uh, let me make sure I, I mounted it. You know what? I, I bet you it's it probably dismounted itself. Uh, yeah, I dismounted itself. All right, so I need to navigate back to it. Yep, okay. Hit okay. And then let's try powering back on again. Clicking inside. All right, here we go. Um, so now it's going to uh, go ahead and um, gonna get go ahead and load that ISO uh, for 7.0 ESXi and you can see it's uh, listed there at the top uh, VMware ESXi 7.0.0 so this should come with the uh, latest VMware tools uh, and we will verify that um, towards the end here but uh, let it successfully load Picking up my uh, Ryzen 5 processor. It's picking up my uh, 16 gigs of memory, which is not a lot. Need to upgrade that. All right. So um, our first prompt here is telling us, "Hey, uh, this is going to install 7.0. Do you want to continue? We'll hit Enter to continue. Um, this is their uh, license agreement. Uh, hit F11 to accept." And then now it should uh, scan and detect that you've already have uh, ESXi. Uh, yeah, so um, it found on this drive here, this 20 gig drive, it found an existing uh, ESXi or VM VMFS. Um, so uh, it's saying, hey, do you want to go ahead and upgrade this? So we are going to hit enter to continue. And uh, here it is. So uh, we have a couple, a few different options here. We can um, upgrade, we can install and preserve, and then we can install and overwrite. So, um, I want to uh, upgrade and I want to preserve my VM VMFS data stores so I'm just gonna leave it at the default the first option press enter um, it's gonna confirm what you want to do hey you want to upgrade your ESXi from 6.7.0 to ESXi 7.0.0 and we will hit F11 to uh, complete the process here and it's going to go ahead and start performing the upgrade. We'll let it run through here. So um, the good thing about doing it this way also is uh, that this will preserve our VMFS data stores. So if you have virtual machines, if you have a, an, an environment already configured and set up, you know you don't want it to uh, override it you don't want to start from scratch it'll just uh, upgrade what it needs to upgrade and leave everything as is and it looks like it's already done it says the system has been upgraded to 7.0.0 it wants us to remove the media so uh, to remove that I will control hold down my control key and my alt key on my keyboard to release the mouse 
come up to my settings, go to my CD DVD, and I will uh, disconnect that, disconnect that, hit OK, and then now click back in and hit enter to reboot. So now it should reboot, and on reboot it uh, will uh, it will automatically load ESXi 7.0. Uh, the ESXi 7.0 environment. Awesome, so it has rebooted, uh, loading all its dependencies and uh, files that it needs. And then um, once this is done, uh, we can actually, you'll, we'll, we can see that um, it's already confirmed that we are now running ESXi 7.0.0. Um, at the beginning of this video we were running uh, 6.7 um, so perfect we are up now um, it still preserved my uh, my IP address there uh, 10.0.2.20 so uh, let me control alt to release the mouse and we'll go ahead and navigate uh, to that same IP Hit enter. I'll log in with my super secret password. And boom. We are now on version 7.0.0. And um, can minimize this. If you notice here, uh, when we right click on the on our machine. We're not prompted to update or upgrade VMware tools. Now we're just prompted to reinstall VMware tools, which means that we are on the latest version of VMware tools. Uh, so I hope this uh, this video was very informative for you guys. Hope it helps you helps you guys down the line. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.